When a black man says, give me liberty or give me death, he is judged a criminal and everything possible is done to make an example of him so there won't be any more like him. The story of the Negro in America is not a pretty story. Um, hi, how are you? Hi. So hi, the you. book, um, Remember This Home, Remember This House is based on the documentary I Am Not Your Negro. Is there any intent on releasing the unfinished book? Well, actually, uh, the book the, uh, is not a book, it's, uh, uh, it's uh, basically notes, uh, notes and a few letters. Uh, so uh, the, the, the idea of the film came from the book that was not finished or not even written. And the film is uh, the result of that. It's my attempt to uh, second guess Baldwin and, and fabricate that book that would have been a masterpiece, I think, about those three friends, Medgar Evers, Martin Luther King, and Malcolm X. Awesome, thank you. Um, what is the inspiration behind the title, I Am Not Your Negro? Well, um, we worked uh, for you know, six years with the title, Remember This House, but at some point I felt it, was, uh, it needed too much explanation to, to tell all the metaphor that remember this house meant and and I wanted to to find a title that would match uh, uh, I would say James Baldwin directness and raw uh, language and I think the, the the title I'm not your Negro is is not apologetic and it's direct it says what the film is without being insulting uh, and uh, yeah and it's uh, raised questions which mm -hmm. is good for the film awesome um, Please tell us about the process for retrieving the images and the videos used in the documentary. Well, I had uh, several archivists uh, working with me uh, uh, along the years. Uh, it, it was a long process, and it was a complicated process because between you know getting the rights, getting the right footage, the right quality, also getting the footage that I need for the text which was you know, the, the primary element, you know, the text, uh, the James Baldwin text. Uh, um, all those uh, you know, voices that you hear are uh, straight Baldwin. You know, I didn't invent any uh, terms, I didn't add up any text, so I needed to really have the accurate archive, uh, some of which we, by the way, we colored, and others we turned to black and white. So uh, it was important to have the, this unlimited freedom in the use of those archives. James Baldwin takes a visit to the South with Metker, and he says that he realizes that he's a witness and there's an actor. Can you tell us about how that witness and actor uh, phrase relates to modern times? Well, uh, it, it's a typical um, issue for artists, in particular when you are an engaged, politically engaged artist, where you are afraid that your art will become uh, just, you know, pamphlet or journalistic uh, 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 record. And James Baldwin was torn between those two movements, you know, being called all the time for research, for uh, for us uh, to come as a uh, witness and James Baldwin was one of the most famous African-American at the time. He had access to newspaper, he had access to TV. So it was important that he can come down to the South and really uh, take back what he was seeing as, as a witness. And, but at the same time, he was himself uh, a victim of it. He was himself uh, really uh, um, you know, suffering from it. Uh, so he had to find a place, but I, I think he, he find a way back and forth between those two extreme positions. Uh, and, and finally, he left us you know, great writings from it. And lastly, why do you think this is important now? Um, well, I started the film 10 years ago, so I, didn't, you know, I never imagined it would be that timely. I knew that it was time to have a real conversation again. It was time to to make a real assessment of what had really happened those, those last 20 or 30 years. And uh, that this is so upfront now, I of course never guessed that and never expected that. But uh, all along those last years, I, I really uh, knew that we really had something strong and that uh, needed to, to be, and that Baldwin voice 
was really needed and, uh, and is uh, not only timely, but also accurate. Thank you so much. Thank you.